Daga, did you come to the kitchen? Daga, please come to the kitchen. I don't want to have to keep yelling. Saga, seriously? I'm not joking around. It's so pretty. It doesn't hurt me. But Papa gets upset when I do this. Saga! It's now you're just ignoring me the comfy purpose. chair. Saga. I'm the queen and this is my queendom. Saga! Papa's big boots. Saga! Papa wears that sometimes when he goes out. Don't go outside, Saga. Eat your dinner, brush your teeth. Saga. Blah, 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 blah. If you could walk in my boots just one day, Saga. That's an umbrella. Papa says it's for rain. Fancy ladies use this. La 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 la, I'm a fancy lady. I'm a fancy lady. Saga! Me and Saga. Papa get along most of the time, except when he's tired or upset. Saga! Mama's really pretty. I don't remember her much. Papa gave me that for my birthday. Saga! It plays beautiful music when it opens up. I need a key to open it. Hmm. I wonder where I put Saga. that key. Ground control to Major Tom. That's where, that's where the Fae live. I've decorated the house for them. Saga. I like my shoes. They're pretty. Saga. Hugsy. He's my friend. Sometimes at night, he talks to me in a funny voice. Saga! Saga! What in the balance took you so long? I wasn't... I don't care. I know you heard me. Please, don't test me. I'm sorry. Apology accepted. I need you to do me a favor. You know I love your beautiful drawings, but I don't like it when you leave them all over the place. Can you please pick them up, put them in your room? And after that, I need you to start your homework. Why is it called homework? I'm always home. What do you mean? Why is it homework when I never go anywhere? I think it should be called just work. Uh, good question. And you're right. I need you to clean up and then do your work. All right? I don't want to clean up yet, but I don't want Papa to get angry. Yes, Papa. Thank you for not fighting me, Saga. I'm exhausted, and it helps a lot when you do your chores without argument. As soon as you've finished, I'll help you with your home... <laughs> with your work. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, I forgot I hid this drawing there. It was a game I was playing. I can't reach it from here. Papa's wireless. We can listen to all kinds of music from the ether. I don't go to the downstairs without Papa. I don't like it down there. It's cold and dark and it smells funny. That door is a special door. It goes into the wall. See? Wall. I want to learn. I want to be a singer-songwriter. I'm singing and playing a guitar. Are you doing what I told you to do? Yes, I'm cleaning up. Good. for dinner tonight? Don't know. All right, then I'll just make something I want to eat. No, fish and chips. We're not having fish and chips, darling. I'll make a stew. Uh, not again. I heard that. I said okay. I don't like that picture. It keeps changing. I think it's alive. Remember, we're having a visitor over tomorrow. Who? I told you already, Uncle Gareth. Oh, yeah. Well, he's not my real uncle. Can't we go visit someone instead? You already know the answer to that question, Saga. It's not fair. I know it's not, and I'm sorry. But I need you to behave and be polite to, un to Gareth. All right? All right. That's the upstairs. Papa's room is there and the bathroom. And also the attic. The attic is scary. No, I didn't leave any drawings in the upstairs. It's high up. I don't think I put that there. It must have flown up by itself. Hey, darling. What is it? It's a drawing I can't reach. All right. Lead the way. I'll give you a hand. How in the balance did that get up there? I don't know. Can you help me get it down? Of course. Come here, I'll give you a lift. Go on, stretch as far as you can. A little further. Got it? Got it. 
You keep growing, you'll soon be able to reach that high on your own. Was Mama tall? Mama is tall. Taller than me. She could have... <sighs> Let me see that drawing. This is nice work, Saga. You're better than I ever was at your age. Who is this? That's Crow. Who's Crow? A talking bird. When's Mama coming home? Saga. Well, you said is, not was. Mama is tall. So when's Mama coming home? I honestly don't know if she ever will, sweetheart. But she is out there somewhere? I think so. Okay, if she's out there, I'll find her and bring her home. I promise. Thanks for the lift. You're welcome. That door goes out to the ether. It's locked. It's always locked. I think maybe Mama was a witch and she used this to fly. That's where the Fae live. I've decorated the house for them. Oh, that's where I left the key. I need a key to open it. Hmm, I wonder where I put that key. That's all the drawings. I'll tell Papa I'm finished. Mama's really pretty. I don't remember her much. Done! Already? Good job, darling. I'll help you with your homework in My a... work? Your work, right. Your school work. I, I just have to finish up here. Why don't you take the drawings to your room and put them in the right order? I'll be there soon. Okay. I don't think that's right. I don't think that's right.
Oh, I'm cold. And hungry. And bored. And my butt's hurting. And I'm also thirsty. But hey, I'm not complaining. This is fun. I like staring at buildings all night, every night, until my eyes start bleeding. Do you think Na'ane's been acting weird? I mean, she's always been a bit weird, but after she came back from Miria... Actually, since you arrived... Why is that? Have you noticed anything... weird? Eno, please pay attention. Oh, what's there to pay attention to? We've been watching that building for a week now. Nothing is going on in there. I almost wish Liko was here instead of me. But any chance he has to avoid going on a mission with you, he'll take. I can't believe he's still upset you didn't kill that officer. I mean, we've gotten good information from him. Liko's just being a real poop head. He's upset about losing Old Town. Yeah, but what could we do? I mean, he decided he couldn't trust your information. That's not your fault. So, what else is going on with you? Hey, what happened with that woman, Anna? Didn't you and her have a... I didn't... It wasn't... It was clearly a mistake telling you. You can trust me. I tell no secrets. Except to all my girlfriends, of course, when we get together over wine and... I'm kidding. I have no friends, you know that. Aside from you guys. You guys are my best friends, and that's really sad. I'm depressed now. But she's pretty. Anna, I mean. Beautiful hair, striking freckles, nice scowl. She'd make a fine uh, companion. I'm not interested. Oh. Okay. So, uh, is there anyone at all that you're... Enu, I'm not interested in women. You're not interested in... <gasps> sure! Oh, I knew that. <laughs> of course, that's, that's fine. Perfectly fine. So... So who do you... Look, something's happening. Oh, yes, someone's leaving the house. Call in reinforcements. People leave that house every day, Kian. They arrive in the morning and leave at night. Almost like it's a real business of some sort. Doesn't look like a real business to me. You're too suspicious. Must be all that hanging around, Azadi. What are you guys up to? Bip! What in Shadow's name are you doing here? Uh, nothing? Oh, right. I have a message. It's from Ulvik. <clears throat> he says, come to the bar immediately. There's been developments. I don't know what developments is, but Ulvik's face was frowny, so it's probably important. It always is. Good job, Bip. Let's not keep Ulvik waiting. I'll go first. We won't attract as much attention if we arrive separately. I envy those who can shut their doors at night and find peace inside. But that's why we fight. So that they can shut their doors and forget. The wreaths are part of the harvest festival tradition. Goat eats leaves, goat falls asleep. Interesting. Wait, I remember someone talking about this a while back. The mole, was it? Stacks of hay to represent the harvest festival, the reaping. The wreaths are part of the harvest festival tradition. Goat eats leaves, goat falls asleep. Interesting. Wait, I remember someone talking about this a while back. The mole, was it? What was that herb the mole spoke of? Evensong. This must be it. It's an opiate. Consume enough and you fall asleep. They can't be wild goats, not in the middle of Mercuria. But who owns them? The city? 
Maybe this is how they keep the grass in the green trimmed. It's surprisingly quiet out. Usually these tables are busy until late at night. Granted it is chilly and damp. Everyone's probably inside, carousing. A pumpkin, an odd vegetable, native to the Northlands. We have nothing like it in Azadir. They're building bonfires for Reap Moon's Eve next week. Anu told me some believe the wreaths protect homes from Yaga, the Wicker Witch. You put a wreath on your door to show that you've made proper offerings. Are those yams? No, only apples. Oh. There's official Azadi business going on here. You'll want to turn around and walk away. Since the raid on Old Town, they've sectioned off more of the city at night. You can pass, but you need to answer questions. Those paper dragons are illegal. They've been arresting anyone caught running them, but new ones pop up every day. This is an historical landmark of some sort. Shepard mentioned the name Abnaxis, an ambassador of the Vanar, she said. Pipe sections, surplus or spare parts, I imagine. Without that proud cock and the delightful little puss riding on it, the resistance would be in a dark place indeed. I... Oh, goddess, forgive me, I keep doing that. See that gentleman sitting over there? Don't look, you simpletons. Balance. You lot don't know much about subterfuge, do you? That man's an Azadi mechanic. He drinks here most nights, but I didn't know that part until I overheard him speaking to his friend earlier about the pipes. Seems that with the pipe network up and running, there's a lot of tinkering to be done. Our man over there carries a tool to open maintenance hatches. If we can get inside a hatch... We can maybe figure out what they're using the pipes for. That's brilliant, Ulvik. So we slit his throat and dump him in the bay? Not in my bar, you won't. If they find out we've taken his tools, the information could turn out to be useless. No. We need Borrow to... Borrow his tools, open one of those pipes to have a look-see, and put the tools back before he notices. And that was probably what you were going to say when I interrupted you. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry. If you can do it without him noticing, I won't stop you. But if the Azadi ever suspect that I'm collaborating with the Resistance... That will not happen, Ulvik. So what do we do, Kyam? Ulvik brought this to our attention. It's only fair that I include him in the decision. What do you think, Ulvik? Me? Well, I think you three are resourceful in uh, different ways. Instead of bickering about what to do, which is what usually happens, why not split up? There's every chance that one of you will come up with something that doesn't involve murder, the total destruction of my pub, or blowing my cover. I agree. We can't take too long. That man won't stay here forever. He's on his second drink. He usually doesn't leave until he's had at least three. And I can offer a few on the house to make him stay longer. It's decided then. We'll meet again here later this evening. Winner buys a round for everyone. No? No? It's not very motivating? Okay. Have you found anything yet? I'm working on it. Enu and Nico are still out looking. And you're not. You should get to it. Alvik doesn't have the most sophisticated or upscale clientele. And I'm sure he's happy about that. They appear to be having a good time. Well deserved, too. They're good people. Bless their generous hearts. You wouldn't believe the amount of work that's required to keep the network running smoothly. 
Oh, the engineering's good, but the assemblies. Don't put military men on a civilian job, is all I'm saying. This requires fine skill, not brute force. See, if, if, if the connection between the pipes are off by even a hair's breadth, the orbs can start rattling around and get stuck. If that happens, Shadow, let's just say the tower would be severely displeased. The official opening's in a week, and they want the ceremony to go as smoothly as possible. The emissary would not take kindly to being embarrassed in front of the first. So that leaves me and my work box. <coughs> uh, oh. He's a mechanic, working on the pipe network. And he has a work box with tools. The worst thing is crawlers in the tubes. What, what do you call them here? Uh, rats. I had to clean out rat gizzards from a junction last week. Shadow take me, what a mess that was. See, once the blood and guts get into the engines, there's nothing for it. They need to be dismantled and every piece has to be scrubbed clean. It takes a full day, that does. I wish they put some sort of safeguards in place. There are rats crawling all over this goddess forsaken city. You know how many times I've seen a crawler in Sidae? None. None that is the times. Ulvik told me once of the legend of the Onyx Cockerel, high king of all cocks. Those tubes will make our lives better. Really? How's that? Well, they're there for the, uh, well, the, the betterment of humankind, aren't they? What does that even mean? Well, life's a series of tubes. <laughs> I'll drink to that. that even Traditional mean? reap moon snacks. Roasted apples, salted yams, sweet roots, pungent fermented snapjaw eggs. I won't say no to a tasty bit of yam. Mm. Oh. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, mmm, -hmm. delicious. Ulvix oh. provided Bip with a cot down there, among the wine caskets and beer barrels. I believe the boys acquired a taste for strong drink. I do miss Old Town. Mercurius is just not the same without the magic ghetto. Shh. What? Well, take a look around you. Is this the best place to lament the loss of magicals? Well, we have lost something, haven't we? Is this town really better off without magicals? Be honest. Honesty is the quickest way to the noose. Do I smell magicals? I think I smell magicals. Why are there magicals in this place? I thought this was a human establishment. Before our arrival, the street lamps were lit with magic spells. They've been replaced with modern electricity. What exactly are you doing to that goat? Should I be jealous? Jealous? Of whom? I don't understand what you're saying to me. Where have you been this past month? Away. Far away. Travelling, so... Uh, this goat... What's going on here? It's rebel business. Clearly. How's that working out for you? Are you one of them now? I'm atoning for my sins. Right. But you are enjoying it. I don't enjoy fighting my own people. Well, you seem to be good at it. Word is the resistance is gaining support, that people have hope now that you're there. I'm doing what I can to help. I heard you went soft on our vile little Lazardi officer. If I'd known, I would have taken care of him myself. Not killing him makes some sense, a source in the tower and all, but for going torture, that's just a missed opportunity. The thing about torture is that it's a seal of authenticity. It makes every piece of information more reliable. I understand your friends didn't take the officer's word for it. Well, even if you didn't pull out of Old Town, 
At least the Resistance put up a decent fight before... The important thing is, many Azadi died that night. Chalice half-fallen, all that. What do you want? Nothing. Nothing. I saw you. It's been a while. I wanted to say hello. Ah, oh, I've missed... this. The one-sided conversations. The sullenness and suspicion. I've come to enjoy it quite a bit. Anyway... Goats? We have a lead on the pipes. Oh, that explains everything. I'll leave you to it then. I'm going to the rooster later tonight. I need to speak with Olvik. Maybe I'll see you there. Maybe. This is what I love about you, Kian. You're such a people person. This is Evensong. It works on goats. Well, then it should work on the Azadi too, eh? One more ale on the house, da? Ah, what a lovely head. This one smells different. Malty, sweet. It's almost like the sugar ale from Southern as a day. Now, this is a brew, Ovik. It tastes like home, this does. It brings tears to my eyes. It's simply spect... A workbox. That's probably where a mechanic would keep his tools. He's dead to the world, knocked out by Evensong. Hey! Hey! Don't take too long out there. If he wakes up without his tools, there'll be questions and I won't have any good answers. You should get on with it. The Evensong's potent, but he will wake up before the night's over. That's one of the maintenance hatches from the mechanic's map. It won't budge. It needs a special tool to open. Looks empty. There's a strong current of air flowing through it. There's air flowing from right to left, like a tempest in a tube. That's one of the maintenance hatches from the mechanic's map. There's a powerful wind blowing from right to left, and it carries something with it. Too quick to see, too fast to grab. ball? That's what's flying through these pipes? Where did the orb come from? I should investigate where this pipe leads, hopefully to some answers. I believe they burn those on Reap Moon's Eve to celebrate the harvest and to appease the Wicker Witch, the Yaga. 
Apparently, the reaping's the right time for pumpkins, and they're an important part of the celebrations. Hardest knows why. They're hideous things. I've never experienced these festivities myself, but I hear you're supposed to throw an offering on the fire to appease some sort of pagan god, the Wicker Witch. I need to find a way into that building tonight. Were you here when we had that horrible mess the other day? I don't think so. Well, one of them, uh, what they call them, ground crawlers. Rats? That's it, rats. One of them rats got into the pipes. Whoop! Got sucked right into the engine. Whoa. That doesn't sound good. Light. What a bloody mess. Literally. Guts, bones, hair, blood everywhere had to shut things down. And it was us who had to clean it. Engineers wouldn't touch it, said their hands are too valuable. I guess ours aren't. It's a soldier's lot, isn't it? We do the grunt work. That's how it goes. Well, I guess they think cleaning out rat guts is more important than us keeping watch and protecting them engineers in there. Eh, uh, guess so. A single bob won't hurt. I'm sure no one's watching. Ah, this brings me back. Although without the nettles, something's definitely lost. So we meet again, Azadi. Prepare your blade for battle. Goddess, it's late, boy. You should be in bed. So should you. What are you doing now? Chasing rats? The boy appears genuinely interested. I've been told this is rare in children. Perhaps I shouldn't discourage him. Yes, that's exactly what I'm doing. Are you that hungry? Rats taste like sewage. Trust me, you're better off eating table scraps. Uh, I'm not eating the rat. I need it for... It's work-related. It is. Okay. Well, don't let me keep you from your rats. Are you just going to sit there? It's not every night I get a chance to watch you catch a rat. Fair point. He never listens. He's risking his life being out in the open like this. But what can I do? I was the same at his age. You're taking way too long. I'm getting bored. Ah, yams. A few weeks ago I'd never tasted yams. Now I can't get enough. I'm a budding yam aficionado. It's a leftover cheese and meats plate. I've dined here. The food's good. I would never have left any bits uneaten. There's food left on the table. Ground crawlers. Filthy rodents. They're too quick. You're not very good at catching rats, are you? They won't come close as long as I'm standing here. Oh, so close! Well, mm, not really. How can you not want yams? You vermin are truly beyond all hope of redemption. This is more fun than throwing pebbles at Azadi guards. <sighs> I thought being a rebel was supposed to be more exciting than this. I mean, rats? Really? When are you going to do any fighting? I haven't seen any fighting for weeks. I'm sure the Magicals would appreciate all your hard work running after rats. I know I do. didn't think you would. I'm impressed. Well, that was fun. What's next? 
Next, you go home and stop distracting me, or I'll tell the other street urchins you have fleas. I have no home. You know that. I sleep in the cellar of the rooster and kitten. Good. It's the safest place around. So go back to your cellar and keep your head down. If I see you again tonight... Please, got it. I'm sleepy anyways. That's why I'm going back. Not because you're telling me to. And don't throw pebbles at Azadi soldiers. They've put up ornaments all over town for the festival of reaping. Harvest season is important in the Northlands. Was that sound? It was a squishy sound, sort of like. You've got to be kidding me. Not again. Shut a damn ground crawlers. I guess it's on us to clean up the mess. That bloody engineer in there is not going to do it. So, yeah, it's on us. <sighs> right. Well, let's get to it. No time like the present. Tubes leading down to these odd tables. Someone's down there. He's one of the people who work here. I've noticed others like him entering and exiting. They're odd looking. The numbers are flickering. It looks like sorcery, but I'm sure this is science. I don't know what these are, but they put me in mind of a lady's vanity, except with knobs, lots and lots of knobs. More of those odd metal orbs they're doing something to them here, altering them. The orbs appear to be an important part of the machinery. I wonder what'll happen when I push one of these knobs. Oh, that's ominous. These are probably work tables, although I've never seen work tables with gauges and meters and knobs before. More of the metal machines that have been put up all over town, but these look different. Bigger, shinier, more modern. I recognize instruments such as these from cloud ships. Gauges and meters for reading things like pressure, height, and humidity. Why would they need that here, on the ground? There's mathematics on that board. Oh, oh! Um, you're not supposed to be here. This place is for engineers only. Please leave or I'll be forced to call the guards. I have a very loud voice when I'm scared. One sound, and you'll be standing on the slopes of the first mountain, yelling at clouds. Goddess. Oh, no problem. I'll be quiet as a... Uh, you're from Azadir. I've seen your profile in embroideries. I never forget a nose. You're the Apostle. Apostle Elvani. You're famous. Maybe once. Now I'm just Kian. Your turn. My, my turn? What? Your name. Who are you? Ferdows. I'm 
for Dao's lead engineer. I don't know what that means. What do you do? Don't you know? I, I thought you would have known, you know, from back when you were... I'm in charge of the team that encodes the spheres that make the engine tick. What engine? The engine that... <laughs> you, you know, the engine. <laughs> There's only one engine. The one that encompasses the entire city. It's, it's what all the pipes are connected to. Didn't they tell you anything when you were... Y you know, before you were a traitor? Assume that I know nothing. What is this engine for? The engine calculates. That's why they call it the calculating engine. <laughs> Big numbers. Complex equations. I... we... Uh, my team? We give the engine instructions about how and what to calculate. This is called coding. I, I understood none of that. You, you can't be here. You're a fugitive and... and um... This is a restricted zone. That's like two things that mean you shouldn't be here, and I could probably think of more if you need me to. I have a sword, and I'm bigger than you. Those are two things that count in your favor, granted. So what does this calculating engine do? What's its purpose? I'm, I'm really not supposed to. Right, bigger and sword. As I said, it calculates. I mean, it does more than that, but that's what it was built to do. It's core functionality. It adds, subtracts, multiplies numbers, big numbers, and it does things with those numbers. Like, um, like, have you ever watched the stars in the sky at night? I'm not just a man with a sword. Of course. And you've seen how those stars move across the sky. Using a calculating engine, we can actually track those stars and predict where they're going to be in a year from now, or a century, or where they were a century ago. Why are you tracking stars? Well, we're not. I mean, it's, it's just an example. We're not actually tracking stars. I mean, sure, we could if we wanted to, but... We're tracking dreams. Dreams? Dreams are very complex, which is why we need a big engine with lots of ticking parts to make complex calculations and predictions. Right. So, the part about not just being a man with a sword? Assume that's all I am and start over. Yes, fine. Um, those pipes crisscrossing the city, they're sort of like, um, like speaking tubes, connecting a hundred sage masters, each with his or her own field of specialty. So, it's like a university? Well, I guess. Yes. Yes, this is a good comparison. A whole city filled with clever brains. The spheres pass messages between the different masters, and between them and us. We write messages, and we interpret messages. We tell the individual brains what to think about, and then they do the thinking, and report back to us. Now, this allows us to write ever more complex messages, until finally, we have the code we need. The ultimate message. That one, we send to the tower. Why? Because because that's where the biggest brain of them all is located. This is the hub of the pipe network, the engine's core, its heart, the nucleus of the meta... Well, y you understand. The fact is, this is the most advanced and scientific task anyone's ever taken on, and we're doing it. You should be proud. Why are you doing it? Uh, well, I... I... I don't quite know. Because we can? Because no one else can? Because the Prophet told us to, and gave us the tools to do it. So, you don't know what it's for? I write the instructions. I'm the, um, I'm the man in the middle. Someone tells me what they need, and I tell the engine how to compute the answer. This is my job. Who knows what the engine is for? The six? Probably. The Prophet, certainly. Emissary Saya, I would imagine. This is above my pay grade. 
above your... I was hired to write instructions for the engine and compute the spheres, not to ask questions. And, and not to answer yours either, Mir. You really should go before someone comes. We'll both be in terrible trouble. They usually check on me all the time. I wonder why they haven't. I still don't understand. Why build all of this here in Mercuria? Why not in Sadir? Because of the tower and what's below it. Vast eddies of, um, meta-energies. Meta? Do you mean magic? 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 Of course not magic. This engine is, is, is the opposite of magic. It's the culmination of everything Azadir has strived for these last hundred years. An end to chaos and uncertainty. An end to superstition and irrationality. An end to magic. When the engine's fully operative and the programming complete, we won't need sorcerers or witchcraft anymore. We'll be able to do anything we want with science. Reshape reality, rewrite the laws of the cosmos, remove death and disease, poverty and warfare. The world will be run by scientists for the betterment of humanity. What do dreams have to do with it? The engine feeds on the, on, on the building blocks of reality. Um, ideas, stories, dreams. Magic is highly detrimental to the system. See, sorcery causes chaos, injects uncertainties and, and, and fallacies into our calculations. So, is that why magicals are, are being relocated? We can't have them around while the engine's calculating. But as soon as we're done... We you can... believe they're being relocated? Oh, yes. Yeah, yes, of course. I mean, it's what they told us. Why would they lie? It's simple. The engine isn't compatible with magic. And we don't want anyone getting hurt. There's no room for sorcery in Mercuria. The magicals are better off in their new homelands. They're being sent to prison camps. Re-education camps. Uh, this is true, yes, but only temporarily. Th this is their first stop. Afterwards, they're given passage to their new homelands, where they can- Do you really believe that? What would the Magicals be re-educated to do? Forget that they're Magicals? No, Fadaus. That's not the truth. They're imprisoned. Killed. They're not given a new home. But they told us. Uh, they said they were- they, they promised they'd be safe, and happy, and... Oh, I might protect them. So this is why we're sending all the Magicals away from Mercuria. Because of the engine. I... Yes. Yes. That's why. I didn't know. I didn't know. <laughs> there are children. There are. They lied to us. Do you need to remove all Magicals before starting up this calculating engine? It's already running. I'm... I'm not... As long as the thermaturgical interference is below the acceptable threshold for... Pretend that I'm a very small and possibly very stupid child. Oh. No. No, they don't, they don't need to get rid of all of the Magicals. Just enough not to disrupt our calculations. We'll be done instructing the network in a couple of days. After that, they can pull the lever whenever they want. That's the last component of the engine. The tower. The one that will start feeding on and molding the dreams. Changing the world for the... For the better. Yeah. I, um... I believe the official ceremony is a few days from now. The emissary will be there, together with the first, and the prophet, and... And... And please don't kill me. I'm not going to kill you. But what you're doing here is not the will of the goddess, Fadaus. Something is going on. Someone's... Kian. I had a feeling it was you. Mia? Goddess, what are you doing here, Hami? Where are your men? Right outside. They can be here in seconds. You, engineer, what's your name? I threatened him. He played no part in this. Fadaus, I'm... For Dows. You lied. I beg your pardon? You promised they'd be safe. I've no idea what you're talking about. Go, Fadows. This is not about you. Just remember what I told you. 
You're not doing the work of the goddess here. Old Town was a distraction. Amon meant it to be a struggle for my men to die. He wanted to take my mind off the investigation. Commander Vamon and the Emissary have been lying to me about your death. Why is that? Because I'm a danger to them. And it's not the only thing they've lied to you about. This engine... You betrayed us. You joined the enemy. To stop Sire and Vamon, not to fight our people. Not to fight you. Sister Sire is the Emissary. Commander Vamon is your superior officer. They are your people. They are traitors, Mir. They have betrayed our nation, our faith, and... You should have come to me first, Apostle. You should have come to me. Instead, you've shamed me. You've shamed Mother Utana, the Six, the Goddess, your nation. When I received word someone had been spotted entering this house, I had a feeling it was you. I entered alone for two reasons. One, as a courtesy to the Mother, it would break her heart again to hear that you perished in dishonor, fighting my guard. And two, your living proof that Vamon has lied to me. I cannot reveal my hand to Vamon, but I also cannot let you go. You'll surrender to me now, without struggle, and you'll be brought to Sadir tonight, in secret. The courts will decide your fate. For the time being, while I sort out this mess, you'll be locked away under a false name. No one will know you're alive. When I'm ready to confront the Commander and the Emissary with their lies, I will reveal the truth about your survival, and you will cooperate every step of the way. Ask Sire and Vermon about the camps, and what they're doing to- You lied. You lied to us. You told us they would not be harmed. You told us they'd be safe. There were children! Get off me, you idiot! Go! Go, Keon! Make them pay for this! Stop that! Get off me! I'll have you beheaded for this. Shadow, damn you, man! Leave this place! Now! Yes? Mother. It's the General. He asks to speak with you. Send him in, child. Hami, is anything the matter? It's Kian. He's alive. Oh! Goddess. Goddess, be praised. How do you know this? He broke into the engine room down on City Green. Light! What was he doing there? Speaking with one of the engineers, Fadaos, a young man from the southern provinces. Kian said... Oh, well, it's of no consequence. He's a traitor. He's joined the resistance. But... It is as I suspected. We have been lied to by Vamon and the Emissary. For what reason? That I don't know. Yet. And until we do, we cannot confront the Mother. I agree. We don't know how firm their grip is on the tower. If they know that we know... What about Kian? Was he here? How did he look to you? He looked strong. Different, but strong. He must have his reasons for doing what he's doing, Hami. Kian would never betray Azadir, or his faith. Perhaps, but that's what he's doing. I gave him the honorable choice to turn himself in and face righteous judgment. But he fled like a coward when the engineer attacked me. Attacked? I don't blame the man. Kian poisoned his mind with baseless lies. My men detained him, and I placed him somewhere safe, somewhere he can't tell anyone what he saw and heard. Out of Vamon's reach. We need to keep this between us, or we run the risk of alerting the commander and emissary Saya. Much as I'd like to hunt down Kian myself and put him to the sword, we must be patient. Let's trust the goddess, Hami, to illuminate our path and bring us to the truth. 
I certainly hope she will. Kian, thank the balance you're back. Bip's been- They've taken him. Taken, yeah. Light, are you sure it's Bip? I knew this would happen. We have no time to spare. We must get to him before- The cloud ship just unmoored and is already heading for Guillen. It's too late. Then we must follow. And abandon your mission here for one child's life. Is it because he's a magical that he's not worth the trouble? You're such an angry, angry man. Do you really want Kian to leave Mercuria and risk his life to save one boy? I thought so. This is what happens when we let Azadi criminals live. Stop it. That's not what happened and you know it. They're sending all the magicals away. I know why and I know what the pipes are for. What? Really? Are you serious? I'll explain later. Right now, we need to rescue the boy. Well, you're not going after him. That's not your decision to make, Anna. Can we really afford to lose more people? We've lost so many already. And Ani has her hands full with those who've been injured. Soon, there won't be enough of us left to fight. I need to think about this. I can't just abandon the boy, but... We can't stay here. The Azadi are hunting me. The General knows I'm alive. Honey? How did that happen? Did you approach him? Are you trying to curry favors with your former masters? Curry favors? How would I even... I'm not trying to curry any favors with... Stop it, both of you! You're really annoying and loud. Let's get out of here before all of it gets in trouble for harboring a fugitive. Shepard will want to have a say in the discussion. This isn't over, Kian. Oh, hush. 